Hello family, welcome back to the Ebony Odyssey. My name is Jermango Long and I am a servant of the Most High God. I really appreciate you for coming along and as always, enjoy the journey. Uh, today is like a real talk uh, with a little bit of scripture thrown in there and it'll be uh, the prodigal son. We all know that story in the Bible about the son who goes off and then the son that stays at home. Um, and more so, um, reading in the book of Ecclesiasticus, again, chapter 3, verse 13, and it says, if, And if his understanding fail, meaning the Father, have patience with him, and despise him not when thou art in thy full strength. I always tell my my boys that, you know, my strength continues uh, to dwindle each and every day. Uh, being in the military uh, for over 13 years and getting injured, um, it has left me, you know, weaker than the person I once was. Um, I was never a bodybuilder. I was never, um, you know, this super muscular guy. But being able to go to and fro and do uh, normal things, normal day-to-day -day activities, uh, you know, walking, running, jumping, lifting, doing all those things, it was easy. But, um, you know, getting injured and days going by, years going by, you know, uh, and, and time, as time creeps in, you get older. You're not able to uh, go as long as you once did. You're not as strong as you once were. But, you know, to see your children start to grow and to get bigger and to get stronger. And I have seen them, you know, throughout my life do so many things that I'm so proud of uh, and to become men at that. Um, it's, you know, it's just something that's, uh, you know, it, it's a beautiful thing to watch. Uh, that's why, you know, having a family and you know, being there every step of the way and seeing the growth, um, it's nothing better in the world than that. And, and so um, I want to get to this point because, you know, yesterday we were out. We had a great time. We were uh, in Stone Town, um, you know, enjoying the evening. Uh, and I had a kind of like a prodigal son situation. I had one you know child that chose to for some reason walk home you know it's it's a good distance and the other child uh he chose to stay um and you know at the end of the day i know my wife was uh upset because not a clear definition of you know where our youngest was you know was a problem and you know it's a lashing out on the oldest, on me, on whatever. And at that point, you know, we I'm looking at it, it was like, hmm, I'm proud of him if this is the route he's chosen. But um, I was just a little disappointed because he didn't leave clear uh, instructions with his brother of where he was actually going. And so the only way you can kind of see is you would see his phone ping. So... I know he's not in town, which we looked around for him a little bit just to say, hey, where you at? Let's go. But, you know, it's a blessing, you know, because I see it. This is a safe place. You know, I think Stone Town is maybe, I don't know, five to seven miles away, you know, and for him to take it upon himself uh, to start walking home, you know, you know, hey, to each his own you know this is a young man uh testing the limits of what he can do as a man and so i don't i don't want to uh deter that you know uh but making sure you give uh the respect and notice to your mother or making sure she is aware uh because that creates difficulty not only for me but my other son uh, Jordan, which is the oldest, and he is to, you know, basically uh, be his brother's keeper, as we know uh, of those things in the Bible. But uh, needless to say, you know, he's okay. Uh, we saw him on the way home. 
Uh, I wanted him to make the whole way. I didn't want to pick him up, but uh, I went back, got him, you know, let's get on home. Let's, you know, get to our Bible study. Let's get to our reading, which was very good. Um, but, you know, that prodigal son story, you know, it, it goes that, you know, one will leave, one will stay, you know. But the thing of it is, the father in that story loved both of his children. He loved the one that left just as much as he loved the one that stayed. Unfortunately, I guess the one that stayed didn't realize it as much, you know, because in that story, you know, hey, you did all these things for the one that left. What about me? I've been here with you this whole time. And you never want to, you know, discredit or negate the great things that the one that stayed did. It's, it's hard to stay. You know, uh, you, you to be committed to the family, to be committed to pushing the family forward. You know, that's the problem we have now, even in America, that people don't stay. People want to be free and live their life and not honor the family and not push the family forward. You know, so w what do you do when you're, you know, you're putting a, a thousand piece puzzle together? you know, and you're, you're putting it piece by piece. And then you get to a point where, Hey, this right here, I can only go so far with it. I need somebody else to step in and put the rest of the pieces together and, and complete the puzzle. You know, that's what we look for in life uh, with our kids and through our children. We try to set things up as I'm doing here. Uh, and then I'm hoping that my children will carry it forward. And I and I apologize ahead of time because I know uh, the airplane is taking off. We have the windows open um, and sometimes the sound won't be as clear. But uh, yeah, <laughs> sorry, fam. Uh, but yeah, you know, you, you want to push it forward. You want to keep things going the way that it should go. Uh, you want to keep building, uh, but at the same time, you're proud of both accomplishments. You're proud of the ones that go. You're proud of the ones that stay. And, uh, you know, you just got to be thankful and, and pray to God that, you know, they are taken care of as they go out on this journey, you know. And so, like I say, you have these prodigal son stories, uh, or that's just my story uh, because I have two young men. But as I tell them, as my strength continues to fade, you know, as I continue to get older and uh, become more brittle and uh, I'll need them more, you know, uh, my oldest is the one who may stay. Who knows? He may go. My youngest, you know, he he's branching out on his own right now, but he may be the one to stay. He may be the one to go. Who knows? You know, but what I'll look for is, you know, who wants to carry on the family? Who wants to push the family forward? Both of them will, but one will build on what's already here and one will start to build on its own and then we'll be there to support when it's needed. But um, these are just things that come up in daily life as you're here. And the blessing that it is, is to see him step out on his own, figure it out on his own go on his own, you know, be on his own. I love to see that from my young men, both of them. Uh, but I digress. Family, I appreciate you for coming along. And as always, enjoy the journey.